part of the Pokemon world because they're clearly out of place in time. Yeah. In another <laughs> world with Pokemon and my smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> the only difference is instead of being locked into our world the internet we literally just call god up say hey god what's up what do you want me to do god catch, catch them all awesome <laughs> thanks and god's message is just gotta catch them all <laughs> yep. that's what god truly wants with this world <laughs> gotta catch them all oh. go out and subjugate my people please it's, They're unruly children. It's so stupid, but I love it. <laughs> Sometimes absurdity is the best thing. Also looks like it's really hard to hold. <laughs> it, yeah, it looks very uncomfortable. <laughs> it's got a big ring around the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> and it just disappears. Oh, man. Imagine dropping away. your arc phone on your foot in the middle oh, of the <laughs> right on the it ring just, it would just skewer you it would just skewer your foot good thing modern medicine is a wonder right now <laughs> yeah potions <laughs> heal 10 more HP than normal oh dang it's fucking wild also it's basically, basically you're stuck with the uh, bad potions you can buy in older games yeah, you're you're using the herbal remedies that make your Pokemon unhappy. But you can make the actual herbal remedies that make your Pokemon mad at you. Yup. How do you make a row five? Ah, two medicinal leaks and a Fifa choke. All right, smash, smash, smash. Here you go. <laughs> Hi, this chat. Book. Welcome to D and D. We're just talking about Isakaimon. Yeah, it's great. I love it. I want to play more, but no time. I want to in, play more too, but I can't until Friday. In another world with Pokegon. Also, Mace, uh, Mace did give me a Stantler, so we're dear, here I come. Also, it's still Where? crazy about how Basculin evolves. Uh, can, can I tell you, Sume? Feel free. I'm not that much worried about spoilers on how Pokemon evolve or what their moves are or any of that. Fair enough. Alright, so Basculin evolves to Basculage by taking it and surviving from 300 points of recoil damage. Hmm. That sounds like it'd be kind of hard to do. Yeah! <laughs> do it all at once. I had so several questions when he brought that up. Like, do you have to do it in one go? Can you stop it up? like, bed to rest after that, like, a certain amount of damage, or... Like, is it a cumulative? Because Basculin's HP does not go up to 300. Not in a reasonable level, I'm sure. How is it back if this is the first time? Well, the reason why it's called that caravan is because all of us have graduated high school and or college. What fun. Or whatever schooling constitutes for Keo, because they live in Europe. Yeah. Mm, they have primary and secondary, I think. Or maybe that's just Britain. I don't know. I don't know. I graduated something. They gave you a paper that said you did it right. Yes. You did a, you did a good job. Congratulations. You, you did good, kid. Now go out in the <laughs> world. Of. Go out into the world and maybe, hopefully, make something of yourself. Or don't. We don't really care. Pretty sadly true. We don't care where you go, but you can't stay here. <laughs> yeah. Also, also give Unless us. Unless you want to get a job here, then maybe. But you got to go somewhere else first. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we yeah. won't you pay you very well. Return. We we need you to get a different piece of paper from a different place to come work here. Also, give us money, like a lot of money. No, no, no. More money. Yeah, no, maybe just a bit take more. take out a loan and be in debt for life. Well, not in Europe. <sighs> Lucky oh, you. Man. That's nice. Crazy. I, I, I'm so close. I'm like $3,000 left. But they're like, hey, guess what? Your school loans are being poor, put, payment is being pushed back. I'm like, great. Can I pay that off? No. Okay. They won't let you pay off during this period. 
Well, I'm in auto pay, so it's weird. It. Mm. Mm. I, I actually have. I I I actually can't pay it now, so I'm kind of glad that I'm not. Yeah, I've been procrastinating on it just because they got that hold going on. Yep, I'm basically saving up funds because I need a new vehicle. Because at this rate, I think I'll be able to just pay it off in one go. Hey, tax seasons are coming, and I have a lot of W twos this year. Switching jobs, things happen. Mm -hmm. Complicated things. Yep, my tax, and I own a house, so my taxes are even weirder. <laughs> I can wait on my Coke W two yet. Anyway, W two for making zero dollars last year. Whippy. Anyways. Let's stop talking about real life taxes and go to fake college. That's go way in, more fun. Yeah, and going to mythological debt. Yes. <laughs> actually, no. Yes, but actually, no. No, I, I, surprisingly, no. They actually pay for your stuff. <laughs> you guys are scholarship students. Congratulations. I wonder what I did for that. Exist. <laughs> I don't recall doing anything special for that. Oh well. All right. So, everybody ready? Hi. You got your I report. So. You get, everybody has their report card. Oh shoot! Uh, I need to probably pull that up. Uh, report card should be somewhere. Here. I Feel free to, to use the this. one I made if you like it. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, I'm going to save that. <laughs> oh, wait. I did save it earlier. By Jove, you smart bean. I did save it, too. Thanks for making it. No yes, problem. thank you, Sumei. <laughs> I wouldn't call it professional work, but it should work. <laughs> as long as it's wor working, it's good. Yeah, you make some pretty good aids. As long as it's better than the work that happened in your CV2 party last night. Honestly, that was kind of fun. I have no context, so all I'm thinking is let him go. Okay. Shame, Cock's gun. Should. Darn shame. <laughs> He's the one with the gun. For now. No, he has like three guns and four guns, one of which shoots magic lightning, so... Ah, cool. Bliss can do that too, but she doesn't require ammo. What a weirdly inclusive school. Usually firearms are forbidden in school. <laughs> well, if uh, you're no, an artificer, you know what? <laughs> all right. There's, there's a counter at the front. Please dispose of all firearms here. <laughs> he just brings out a whole ass satchel. Okay, need to find a thing first. Don't mind me okay. gonna deliver. For how much does the school uniform sell? Uh they have that. Oh. Neat. Alright, let's see. Uh-huh. I, I need to find a map first. Oh god, roll 20, why are you so hard to navigate? <laughs> Not it. Oh. Alright, roll 20. Here at D&D, tell me beyond... Show player's poster map. One sec. I, I had this up. Now it's gone. You're looking for the poster map for Strixhaven or something? Yep. Oh, here it is. Found it. Take off the splash page, just a placeholder, and slap you guys here. Ah! Alright, behold the poster map to Strixhaven. Oh, 
very stylish. Yeah. Yes. We're here at the Central Campus probably this year. Yep. All right. So there's some stuff that you guys do know right off the bat. So. I have been muted. Yeah. I was wondering if maybe it was on my end for a second there. Yeah. I have been muted. All right. So you guys know that Strixhaven is made up of five colleges, uh, with the middle being the Biblioplex. It has house stuff besides the Jordan Knowledge. It has the Fire Joke Cafe and House and Tavern. And as we zoom in to another map... I have to hold off while I get all the introductions in, please. Thank you. Hang on. This one. Yeah. All right. So this is the Biblioplex. Just showing this to you guys. Looks nice, very uh, neat and organized, orderly, as one would expect. Now let's give you to the actual map to get us started. It's very big. Very, very big. Yeah, you guys are really oh. tiny. Oh. I'm going to actually have to. Small boys. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, uh, oh we're down here. Yeah, you're all you guys are all the way at the bottom. Right in front of the main steps. Mm-hmm. And I can move myself. Yep. Yeah, you guys should all be able to move. move. Let's not I'll throw up some music. It's going to be Cathedral Town, so it's only there for the whole ambient talking of people. Ambience. Ambience, yeah. Alright, so three characters are currently standing outside the marble steps of what's known as the Biblioplex of the Strixhaven College. We have Yosef, who is a so, actually, you know what? Sume, you just describe your characters. Sume first. Yosef is very large. Though he seems young, he's a good. He's over six feet and broad at the shoulders. He also. The most notable feature is probably that his eyes are completely black. Both the sclera and the iris. Are black. He's also seems to have very short, rough hair on top of his head, and what looks like scales around his eyebrows and hands. He has a walking stick and is looking up at the towering building apprehensively. Is this really the right place? Hmm. 
Maybe not. All right, Yosef, you look around and you see a bluish person walk up. Hey, so if you could introduce your character. All right. See a guy walk up that's lightly scanning over a piece of parchment that resembles a flyer. He's got silvery bluish markings around his face and under his eyes. He's got as well as lightly bluish see. markings. There's also silvery markings on his hand that is lightly clutching the document. Got pauldrons with kind of rusted but bluish accents, green accents, and some fleshy wings that are lightly wrapped around his shoulders like a cape. And a shield that vaguely looks like the uh, mark of the Civic Combine. I, too, wonder if this is the correct place. Sorry, am I in your way? S sorry. Oh, not at all. I'm simply looking for Strixhaven Academy. Well, this you is definitely... Now? This is definitely it, but I don't know if this is the right building. Uh, um... Oh, it appears that our goals align. Would you like to accompany me? Uh... If it's not too much tr trouble, uh... I see no logical reason why not. Uh, would you be familiar with any of the houses? This one appears to be... He unfurls that document again. A uh, silver quill. I don't think this is any of those. He stared at the document pensively again. Aren't those, like off to the other sides of c campus? Uh, Perhaps Maybe this... I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, you two are deciding on which way to go. You hear a strange zipping noise coming from behind, and you see an Eric Cockro playing a kazoo. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Keo, if you'd like to describe your character. Yeah, um, Aiko is, uh, like, you see, uh, Arakakura standing there, a uh, rather small one, uh, kind of looking like a hawk, uh, in grayish sand uh, colors. The talons are orange, orangey, and the, uh, beak is also rather orange with a gray, uh, tip. The, the wings are really light, uh, yellowish sands uh, colors, and he's just wearing um, black pants, a uh, white belt, and a gray hoodie. And he's, yeah, standing there. I don't I didn't know if this is the wrong building. I, I, I always mess things up for some reason. Oh. Huh. It, it could be. Uh... If it helps at all, I have this document. Oh, what does it say? God. It's, uh, you look at your flyer, it says, new, new students must come to the Biblioplex for orientation day. It's no yeah, specified that's, time. That's hmm. where it's supposed. I think that's this. Um, forgive me if I'm wrong. By the nomenclature, I would believe this is the correct place. We can just go in and ask them. Oh, um, yeah, we Seems could. like an acceptable course of action. Alright, so if you guys are going to walk to the Biblioplex, please put your characters there. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I should change my color. Alright, as you three throw wide the gates so that you may pass. 
Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, so as you guys, as you three walk in, you see up after the majestic marble archways, tomes seemingly stacked for miles, and the infectious energy of hundreds of young adults fill the biblioplex. The Grand Library at the heart of Strixhaven University. The sights, sounds, and sparks of magic in the air are wondrous. Uh, your acceptance letters say that you must report to the Biblioplex Hall of Oracles to receive instructions on new student orientation. You can see that the hall is at the center of the Biblioplex's first floor, as you can see, already see students gathered there. That seems to be the right place. There seems to be a gathering of people ahead. It's this big honking circle that of glowing energy. Yusuf scratches his head nervously. Uh, go. Let's go. Sh shall we? Yeah. I agree. Trying not to ping, but for some reason I'm pinging. Alright, so to describe the Biblioplex's features, the ceilings throughout the first floor of the Biblioplex are 50 feet high. And you can see that there is a second and third floor, which are about 30 feet. There are some stairs and steps leading into and within the Biblioplex. And uh, you see a few circles on the floor. And as well as some students and some professors milling about. Let's see, you're in the main entrance. Uh, enchanted marble steps lead up to the up lead up five feet to a small plaza biblioplex entrance. The double doors vertical handles are each carved in the likeness of a robed scholar. Well that was back here. Yeah. I'm sorry, open page, can't really see too much. Alright, you're at the Hall of Oracles. Oh, dee -da. Yeah. Uh, as you approach the Hall of Oracles, it's filled with statues of the university's past oracles. At the center of a hall, a pulsing ball of magical energy, known as the Strixhaven Snarl, fills the area with bright light. I don't think we should mess with that. Or we should? No, I'm pretty sure we shouldn't. One day I will. Always better to... <laughs> Side with caution. For now. We don't know what it is. If, if you would Maybe like... Maybe we'll make explosions. If That's you... a good reason not to mess with it, isn't it? I concur. If you would like, you can feel free to explore the biblioplex. Uh, what was the place we were looking for again? Um, uh, Yosef gravitates towards these bookshelves. Alright, B10. Uh, <clears throat> you see four to ceiling bookshelves fill the center of the east end of the library's first floor. The denser east stacks under a magic effect that shifts them when students approach, creating space to stand single file between them. Two cogwork archivists busily are busily shelving returned on this file of books. That is what this creation is here. Uh, Yosef looks like he's about to ask it where they need to go, and he decides not to. Excuse me. Alright. You talk to the Cogwork Archivist? Yep, he says in a relatively even tone. Alright, it's it turns around. Uh so to describe this thing, it looks humanoid with um 
like a little bit of a dress like skirt at the bottom but instead of feet it's on wheels kind of like a segway minus the segway bit and as it's putting books back it turns its head and replies with may i help you i am interested in participating in today's orientation would you be able to direct me Um, I am sorry, I only know how to direct you to which book you may seek. Understood. And then, uh, Kelver's gonna move on. Maybe. Not a solid line of inquiry. We may need to seek someone else who knows. Uh, there's a couple people around. Uh... Um, there appears to be someone over that way. Gulliver points down that way. Ah. Do they look busy? We could ask them, maybe. Alright, you guys are going to head on over there? Yes, sir. Okay, so as you approach... Excuse me as I read things out. Uh, you Just appear to... Oh, sorry. You appear to be in a study area filled with uh, simple wooden tables and chairs. Let's see. Uh, as you pass by the western study area, you see members of what could only be a live-action role-playing guild pulling out costumes and props from a half a dozen old trunks. Huh. It seems they may be preparing for an event later on. Oh. Uh, if you like, give me a intelligence check to figure out what event they may be playing. Yes, there are LARPers in this game! You've had a perception check? Intelligence. Or intelligence. Yeah, to figure out what kind of game they may be playing. He has no idea. That's a save. Same difference. Winkus. What if you really No, on the other side. Yeah, it's better. How about you, uh, Keo? You gonna roll? Nah, twenty on the other side. I'm sad. Nice. All right. So, Yosef and Iko, you both recognize the props belonging to a. Game called Beholders versus Behears. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and before you is a small gnome directing the students as they cobble together the Beholder and Behear costumes. She's wearing the uniform of a first year student. Uh. Excuse me. One second, forget her character sheet. <laughs> her. Oh boy! <laughs> Alright. <coughs> yes? How may I help you? Oh, are you new students too? Yes, we are. I believe. Yusuf smiles nervously and nods. Aiko just nods. Oh, that's fantastic! Would you happen to know where we need to be right now? Well, orientation hasn't started yet, but you're more than welcome to... The, the faculty is more than allow us to uh, wander around to get used to this area. I'm currently helping these people direct or bring out props for a game they may be playing later on. Well... Holders... Oh. But but here's Yes, I hear it's quite fun. It's my first time seeing it. Uh, You're familiar with this game. Uh, Do I you happen to know played. where the orientation starts? Yes, it's in the Hall of Oracles. It's not too far from here. Okay, thank you. By the way, can I ask you your names? My name is Gulliver Sinclair. It's 
great to meet you. Well, nice to meet you, Culliver. How about you? He motions to you, Yosef, and Eko. Y y y y y Yosef, um, y Yosef Abrams. Uh, sorry to bother you. Oh, no bother at all. It's nice to meet you. And you? Looks to you, Iko. My name's Iko Iko. Short Iko. Nice, nice to, meet, to you. meet you. My name's... Are you prepared for this? This better be good. Lay it on me. <laughs> I'm going to butcher this, but it's going to be amazing. Alright. My name is Rusi Myfinbip was Fedlums. Uh, but most people call me Rosie. Uh, Ro Rosie I think I'll be doing that too. Uh, In fact, I insist. Because <laughs> here's how you spell my name. <laughs> it's a doozy. <laughs> Rosie Mifrin Bip Wait. was fed limbs. Uh, what a culturally colorful name. Must have a long lineage. Uh, 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 uh. Ah. Though, so, uh, um, where's the Hall of Oracles I I exactly? Uh, hang on. Map's not up. God, there's so many pages I'm sorting through. I wish I had a physical book for once. <laughs> well, if you go up to the north and to the east, you should be there fairly soon. Uh, north and east. Yes, I think they call it northeast. Usually? I believe that is when direction is general. Well, I hope to see... There are scenarios where... And then he rambles on about uh, why... <laughs> scenarios where it would be not general. Well, I hope to see you guys, you three around. Uh, maybe we'll be in some classes together one day. Maybe. You'll see just you... nods. <laughs> we will see you in the near future. Jeez. Have a good rest of your day. She seems to be very excitable. It seems like we have some time yet. Is there anything you two wanted to do? Mess with the big glowy ball? I really think that's a bad idea. I'm not one to haphazardly jump into reckless activity either. Uh, let's go see if we can find exactly where we should be so that we don't have to look for it last m minute. Um, First step that's... of familiarity is exploration. Let's uh, walk around a bit, shall we? Yes. N north. North it is. And then... Hang on, I'm reading something really fast. Hmm. All right. Mm. So many tabs. All right, you guys. I didn't... Okay, as you go through the uh, more bookcases, you find yourselves in front of a small garden. Which is right here. So much lush vegetation. Reminds me a little bit of back home. It's, uh... Nuts. You see... A few students sitting among, on the grass, studying among lush foliage. And you see three pledge mages of, in the wither bloom. Cl uh, uniform. Studying. Can you guys see them? Studying? Yes. You sh shouldn't bother them. They seem busy. Mm. 
all three of them are studying. Uh, hang on, let me check real fast. They seem to just be ten tending to the uh, plants. Okay. Well, the one that looks uh, less preoccupied, uh, Gullible walked up to. Which one of the three would you say looks less preoccupied? Well, one is a pledge mage, actually. The other two are bushes that are somewhat moving oddly. Let's see. I take it out that's the pledge mage. Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay, so that's the wrong one. Yeah, the, roll an arcane check on these bushes. Sure. There, there's actually two book gardens, and only one tells me information. Uh, only one tells me information about the other one. Arcana. Not this one. Oh my gosh. Eh, that's some weird plants. <sighs> Not your garden variety bushes. Uh, hmm. Certainly doesn't look like anything could grow back home. <laughs> Can you smoke it? Blink. Blink. You probably Gulliver can. does not know what these bushes are, so out of curiosity, well, he's going to approach this individual. All right, you're approaching him. Not me. Oh, I'm approaching him then. All right, you walk up to a wither bloom pledge mage. One second. <laughs> oh my god. So much stuff. Stuff and things. all right, so that is how they look like. Well, basically, you look at this humanoid person with leaves for for what could be a hat and glowing red eyes. Hello. Hello. These bushes that you have. What kind of experiments have you done on them? Oh, we haven't done uh, any experiments on them. They are known as awakened shrubs. We had three move in last year, and we decided to let them stay. I'm not familiar with awakened shrubs. They are oh. plants with the awakened spell cast on them, which gives them a sentience. Fascinating. Yes, you could learn all about the plant life, as well as other forms of magics pertaining to nature in the Witherbloom College. Usually when things move, there's some sort of experiment behind it. So this is new knowledge to me. Thank you. You're welcome. Yusuf is completely unsure about how to take this information. If you like, you could pet one. Mm, do, do, do they my mind? Uh... Are these awakened shrubs inherently uh, hostile? No, they are quite friendly. Hostile, sweet men. Is it okay you... to interact with them? I did say so you could pet them. Yosef will approach very carefully this one and just try to pet the leaf super gently. Okay, one second. I actually need to find this. I've been trying to find it for the past couple of for the past minute because <laughs> something actually does happen if you pet it. Control F. Control F. <laughs> Mike was just standing at the side and watching the others pet the plants. I didn't trust him. 
Of course, the bird doesn't trust the plants. Not safe to nest in here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, right. uh, ponds. Carved hunter. Wizard gizzard. All right, might be finding it. Find that. Maybe it's not that. Alright. Well, you know what? I'll just say, uh, roll a charisma check for whoever's petting it. That would be me as well. Dude. Oh, darn. That 23. Is it charisma? <laughs> yeah. Oof. Alright, since. Come on, roll 20. Since, since Keo is opting out, she can. Um,. Yosef, you you very weirdly stroke a leaf of this bush, and it spreads its leaves open to show a tiny little caterpillar-like being on its branch. Uh, sorry to bother you. He pulls his hand back. I really wish it showed me what where the freaking awakened shrub is. Say so control F, right? Yes, control F is for find. You start typing what you want and it'll help you do it. It's great. That Very just to went to draw shape. <laughs> oh. I'm talking for like searching text pages. <laughs> yeah. Control F on here. I don't know what that'll do. Good question. Maybe freehand? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it showed me the creatures for the awakened shrub. That's about it. Anyways, so yeah, it closes its leaves and kind of like shakes a little. It seems to be happy with a nice pet. Uh -huh. Alright, now what? You guys have much of this place to explore because it is massive. Said we have to go um east, d d didn't she? I don't think we can go much further n n north. Um, I guess we have to go out of the building. I don't think oh. so. Anything happened when I petted? No. <laughs> no. Not, not all. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. You had to beat a ten. <laughs> Just to explain the. Two things on the above the building are the second and third floors. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they're they're not separate buildings we have to exit to get to. Okay. Yeah. So the Hall of Oracles is probably on this floor mechanically. It is yes. Uh, uh, as you walk east, you see a massive amphitheater. Huh. This is big. 
Uh, it, the impressive stage, you could assume, is used for lectures and assemblies and a gathering place in case of emergencies. Magic steps lead up to the stage from the floor of the library. It seems that they are uh, a, a few people who are... There is a person recruiting new students for the Play Actress Drama Guild. Maybe this is the Hall of Oracles? Gulliver walks up to him, steady, even pace. Hello. Come on, come all to you. Into oh, hello there. We're looking to participate in orientation. Would you be able to direct us to the Hall of Oracles? Oh, the Hall of Oracles is right there, as he points towards the glowing ball of magic hanging in the air in the center of the biblioplex. Understood. Apparently we found it much earlier than I expected. Yes, Thank you for clarification. orientation hasn't started yet, but I have to say, are you two, three interested in joining the Play Actors Guild of the Prismari College? Hmm. It sounds interesting. Yes, what yes does... certainly. What would acting entail? Oh, acting in plays, of course! I'm not, not very good at speaking. Uh. Oh, if you're not good at speaking, we have... we also. I am also part of the Dead Languages Society as well. You can um, kill the language? <laughs> well, more like Gulliver the language is up, just... up a little bit at that. More like the language is just not used anymore. You know, like uh. this one language called Latin. I, uh, I'm not very good with the living ones, so maybe I shouldn't mess with the, d the dead ones. From what I understand, romantic? dead languages are easier to comprehend than normal languages. They're not subject to change, like living languages. Yeah, but they're already dead. Is so. that necromancy? But people haven't caught up yet. No, it's not necromantic, though some languages, dead languages, could be used for spells. But where are my manners? Quintilius Antiphilian Melentor III, at your service, he does a vow. May I have the honor of knowing your names? This man is human, by the way. <laughs> Gulliver Sinclair. Yosef is sweating a bit. Y y Yosef? Y y Yosef? From a Abrams? Uh... He's got a Tuesday of a name, too. That was a little easier to pronounce, though. Yeah, thank God! Aiko, <laughs> short Aiko. Welcome, are you new students as well? Yosef nods. Oh. Yeah. Ah, sorry. We're participating in today's orientation. Fantastic! I hear it's the scavenger hunt again. It's not so bad. I've had, uh, it was done when I started as well. I hope you three have a good, enjoyable time here at the Biblioplex. Oh, no. We have to look for things? Oh, it's not very hard, my... My friend... There's usually a good amount of context clues whenever something needs to be found. Also, oh, if I mean, acting is not your thing, we are in need of more background props and whatnots. Backstage I mean, hands. I have been told that I can pull off a really mean robot. What's a robot? What's a robot? <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean a c c oh, construct? Oh, sorry. Apologies. One of my uh, mentors liked to call them that. Yeah, you know, Tom Lepton. Oh. I'm not exactly with the lingo. I feel like I just aged ten years after you said that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I am hip with the youth. Oh. I think we should get off his lawn before it gets worse. 
You dang kids, get off my lawn! Try Run! to catch me! Brings out a shotgun. I don't need to catch you. Oh my, that There's got dark. called hip, but I have higher functions than that. I am hip with the youth. Hello, fellow kids. <laughs> Press the gauge at you. Alright, so if that's all, like I said, the play guild, the playwriting guild is, the play actors guild, my, my apologies, is looking for new recruits, whether it be performers or backstage hands. And the Dead Language Society is always welcoming new people. Uh, I'll th 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 think about it. Uh... When's the deadline? Oh, you could join it whenever you feel like. Okay, at the moment I don't. Thank you for the conversation. We, or rather, I am going to look for where I have to be later on. Joseph points over here. Yeah, just Joseph and him turns deadpan points at the uh, shining thing that they wanted to check out. It appears later you will get your wish and get to interact with the big shiny. Nice. <laughs> Don't interact with the big shiny. It's pure concentrated magic. Who knows what will happen? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Roll a D100. We'll find out. All right. So let me get the D10,000 wild magic table out. <laughs> okay. You All right. I want that. I, I found the <laughs> thing. Okay. Dead Language Society. Uh, these linguistic lovers take advantage of Strixhaven's deep repository of tomes written in ancient and near-extinct languages. Teaching themselves those t these tongues are often translating their favorite works. You've given us a lot to think about. We will take your advice into consideration in the future. And with that, I bid you good day. But I, I said good day! <laughs> <laughs> No, no. I said good day. Alright, uh, the live action role playing guild is these storytelling enthusiasts engage in a mix of strategy and play acting, often involving mascots. When they enact fantastical narratives that they resolve with special rules. Pulls out a laser pointer to, for magic. Bing, bing, bing. I hit the wrong button. Mm. So, you guys hit. so we know where to go now. Seems Is like any... we still have quite a bit of time on our hands. Was there anything interesting you guys wish to investigate? Yeah, you still have quite a bit to look through. Iko just silently turns his head towards the shiny ball. <laughs> you want to die, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Alright, well, I found it, so if you would like to roll an arcane check on this... I don't know, do Giant I... ball, feel free! I don't have a very I good just... ra track record with arcane right now. You'll never get better if you don't try. Like I don't. I mean, that was out of character, but yeah. <laughs> this is a, more of me having an opportunity to explain Ooh. what that thing is. Never mind, that was pretty good. Nice. Let's see how my luck goes. No. Absolutely not. Four! <laughs> it is the big shiny. Alright. The big Yos shiny. Yosef and Eco, if no idea. It looks uh, bad. Gulliver, on the other hand, this is known as a snarl. In Arcavios, the fabric of magic is sometimes not as entangled in some locations, creating phenomena called snarls. At these places, spells can be amplified or distorted in unpredictable ways. Oh. And you said it was a snarl? Yes. I believe they call that big shiny, as you put it, a snarl. 
it amplifies magic in unexpected ways. So me and you are talking about the D10,000 table. It's not a joke. This yeah, makes it so much more interesting. I don't think this is a good idea. I really don't. You got kicked out. Mm. They can't kick out me of... out if I'm not even in yet. They technically can. I mean, you're in. They could the revoke our uh, application to become a student. Mm -hmm. That I... would prove disadvantageous to my current situation. Uh, I'll stay here. Uh, for now. Yosef gives me the As... impression that I need to give him a wedgie or a swirly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never is, done he's any really of that. big. He's really big. In and the I'm... words of one of my many mentors, I ain't no snitch. So, I'm going to be over here. And Gulliver will begin perusing some of the books. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Anything in particular you are looking for? Um, anything pertaining to, um, lesser-known gods or, um... Alright. Gods that have been experimented on. What's the freaking bookcases? <laughs> For clarity's sake, I'm just gonna move back a little bit so that you can see that there's books there. Though. Screw it. All right, I'll learn some spells first in the school, and then I'll mess with the ball. All right, so Ika wants to tick off some ancient dragons. Got it. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Five yeah. ancient dragons run this college. Yes. Ooh. You know what? Alright, I need. If you're just browsing. Yeah, uh, I'm see, uh, searching it very deeply. Alright, if you're doing it unaided, it's kind of I cursory. Need... A perception check. Perception check. Yes. It took me a while, but I found it. Thank you, D&D Beyond, for making things a lot easier to read than Roll20. Perception. All right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Most... About the result I should get with uh, that. Most of these titles you can't even pronounce. I appear to be in a section that is not in a language I uh, can read. I'm going to roll a d4 real quick to see what I want Yosef to do to kill time. Alright, because you still haven't explored all of this place yet. Well, in character, it doesn't seem obvious where else you go to do anything. <laughs> Fair enough. No, none of us really know uh, things to do. He's just going to wander, and he's going to wander... Over this way. <laughs> There's another guard. Gulliver, Gulliver will absolutely abandon the section if it's somewhere that he can't read the text. Okay, so... Uh, mm. Yosef, you see... Another garden... With... A f with two more Witherbloom Pledge Mages and another Awakened Shrub and a Orc. One of the few races consistently bigger than he is. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Ooh, that's a that's a mouth. <laughs> thing. He inches a little closer. Oh, that's not his tongue. That's his tusk. <laughs> All right. You see a orc with some very long thin pointed tusk wearing some thick round glasses with black hair holding a book hmm. 
guess if he's just gonna enjoy the garden and not disturb him unless on his own right now. Okay. Let's flip over to Eco. What are you guys up to? <laughs> um, Eco is just going towards a wall and leans against it and starts playing his kazoo. All right. Iko's doing know. the emo kid. Got it. <laughs> Gulliver has uh, become rather curious after uh, not very much interest in the books that he can't read. Saw that there's a room over here. Was going to check it out. Okay. Number 14. All right. Gulliver, you open up the door and you see a room filled with tables and chairs. And a chalkboard. It seems to be a classroom of sorts. Sorts. This is a bit nicer than the uh, places that I've learned at. Um, any kind of uh, things written on the chalkboard? Uh, seems to be promoting es extracurricular activities. Ooh. Does it list any extracurricular activities on the board? Well, the tables are covered with flyers from the Dead Language Society Club, the Dragon Chess Club, the Dragon's Guard Historical Society, future entrepreneurs of in, um, entrepreneurs entrepreneurs of Strixhaven. The chalkboard suggests the Intramural Gymnastics Club, the mm -hmm. Intramural Silk Ball Club, the Intramural Water Dancing Club. The Mage Tower Cheer Squad, the Strixhaven Iron Lifter Society, <laughs> the Strixhaven Shadow Show Band Association, the Strixhaven Star might be a newspaper, and Student Mages of Faith. Ah, uh, none of those immediately catch Gulliver's attention. Um. Anything interesting on any of the tables? Just the flyers. Just the flyers? Yeah, it seems to... Uh, Probably where uh, the flyers were created then? Yeah, it seems like this is w where they're uh, promoting extracurricular activities and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So that was B14. Uh, Gulliver will take out like a piece of paper and scrawl out some of the extracurriculars for a note later. All right. Problem. I'll actually grab pen and paper. So that'll be just passed to someone else for now. You, you all hear a boat amplified throughout the Biblioflex. Bing bong boom. New students initiates, please come to the Hall of Oracles for orientation. Mm. Yosef will move that way. And wait right outside till other people start gathering. Bing bong bong. New students, please come to the Hall of Oracles for orientation. Uh. He glances around and doesn't see both his. There you are. Uh, I guess we could go in now. It pre yeah. Sorry, I can't talk today. It appears to be the right time. Let's go. Okay, as the three of you enter the Hall of Oracles to begin orientation, an almost sacrosanct sense of calm descends as you step to the Hall of Oracles. Brilliant scholars, says a rich, soothing voice radiating from the hall's central snarl of glowing energy. Your attention, please. As you are now Strixhaven University students, this storied biblioplex will be your second home for research, studies, and even leisure. There is just one task to accomplish before you officially embark on your academic journey. A scavenger hunt! As the voice finishes, a small parchment materializes in front of you, and on it, is a list of clues. The rules are simple, the voice says. 
I don't know why I just said the voice says. I'm the one talking. I am the voice. Ugh. Too much reading out loud. Each clue on this list will lead you to a different location in the biblioplex. Simply travel to the area each clue references and perform the action the clue suggests. Time is of the essence. You have only until the end of the day to finish your hunt. Solve as many clues as you can, because at each location, you may win a prize. Now then, off you go! Alright. Would you guys like to look at your clues? Yosef will. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. You have five clues, so it seems you need five items. You can win a prize from each clue they solve, but can only receive one item in each place. So basically, if you have three people, only one person can have item. If you're working as a team. Clue number one. So I this copy in the future. You'll forget all about any trouble or plight and step forward and are ensnarled in lights. Clue 2. Alumni commission works when they retire, seeking promising mages to inspire. Clue 3. Each group deserves a free treat for their investment. Serve up this list and enjoy your refreshment. Clue 4. These leafy beds aren't always what they seem. Give them a pat and see what you glean. Oh, that's where it was. Well, you might have figured out clue 4. Oh! Uh... Caterpillar? And clue 5. Some stars are ancient, enduring, and bright, but others, maybe you, are born on opening night. That sounds like a stage. Mm -hmm. Seems like we've already encountered a bunch of these places. Uh, hmm. M maybe? Clue 3 sounds like the cafeteria. Or maybe a cafe of some kind? There is a cafe. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> All the way to the southwest. Well, I know where clue 4 is. You just gotta go pet the leaves and there's a, a caterpillar. Sounds like you and I had two wildly different experiences. Not that much different. Oh wow, yeah, I, I actually kind of ruined this entire Clue 4 thing. <laughs> I was trying to find it. Oh look, there it is. Alright. Uh, if you guys would like, you could do Clue 4 right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to the cafeteria in the meantime. I don't. I still don't trust these plants. Alright, so. Well, yeah, the Clue 4 was evident, so he'd definitely take out... Uh, Gulliver would definitely do what he knows first. So Yosef Let's... and Gulliver are going to a book garden? Uh, Where is... Why don't we stick together? As you say that, Aiko walks off. No worries. You still have me. As he just... In... Thanks. No way Bro, man! <laughs> <laughs> no... Well, th thanks... Shall we go then? Alright, sure. we'll take care of the book garden first. Because of reasons. Alright. So. Ow. You were supposed to roll an investigation check to see that the shrubs are not our awakened shrubs, but eh, we'll go with that. Um, and you did pet the shrubs. And you got a cuddly Strixhaven mascot. Oh. Yeah, that one. Uh, tiny ma So, yeah, you got a tiny... So whoever wants it will add a cuddly Strixhaven mascot between yourself, Yusef, and uh, Gulliver. Go ahead I, I and take, take it. it. 
I would assume it would be him, because he's the one who pet the trouble. You had this one solved right away. Good job. I was not terrible with plants and animals when I was at home. It shows. Let's see. That leaves four other clues. We should try and make sure Eco's not in having too much trouble. Speaking of which, where did they go? The cafeteria. A uh, cafe. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. You're like on a gray back. Your character's in the gray <laughs> background. Your character's color is like white, and the floor is yes. white, so it's really hard to see. <laughs> Should have given him a ring on it. Well, I don't know how to do that. I'll do it. There's a I, bunch of token makers that are free. I, I keep. I, mine. I keep forgetting about how to look into that. I use token stamp too, personally. Hey, that's the one I used. I think I used the free version though. All right, well, so I mean, it's a web tool, so yeah. But Eco, I think I had a paid version, like a premium version. Eco, oh, you are apparently at a, you're at the cafe, and it's got. I'm gonna bring out a dice roller for this. You see, oh wow, Max. You see, your average actually, 21 students here either eating, studying. You see a few that are straight up sleeping. God, <laughs> God it really is college. Uh, of course. Yeah, I, I, I just sit down at an empty table for a second, study the menu, and... Do we have to go? Oh, like... oh, menu. All right, let's see. You brought up the menu. There's a legit menu. Oh, perfect. All right, I so hope they have... the caf the this cafe specializes in sandwiches, but they do serve coffee and tea, which costs one CP per cup. the The sandwich of today, however, is. Dragon breath peppers and salami on a bagel. Huh. I actually just wanted a hot chocolate, but it seems they don't sell that here, but that's sandwich. Sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, I'll be ordering some pizza after this. <laughs> it's Saturday it's Saturday delivery night. Woohoo! All so, right. Iko stands up and looks around to figure out how to order anything here, if it's just, like, going into to the bar and Well, ordering. I know that, uh, my college, we had kind of a order counter, and okay. then they call you when you made your order. I'm not certain if this is anything like that. All right, so... Uh, actually, to further describe this cafe around lounge, one side of the wall is actually made out of lines which are moving. And if you look up at the ceiling, it's painted in colored in, is colored in painted leaves, which is uh, currently white, signifying winter. Don't really have it with plants in this, you know, university. There's a college, college dedicated to it. Miss, let's enroll into Arcano Bo 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 Botany area. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Anyways, so chat one copper piece from your inventory, please. One. You also see a gnome working behind the counter. Very busily. How do we do that? Do what? Oh. Uh, subtract one copper piece because I have ten gold pieces. Well, yeah, ten, break gold. The ten gold. Ten gold. Yeah. Into ten silver. Yes. And then one of those into ten copper. 
So you'll end up with nine nine nine. Yes. Okay. Ten, ten copper equals one silver. Ten silver equals one gold. Ten gold equals one platinum. So. And everyone hates Electrum. <laughs> it's like right in the middle of two things. No one uses Electrum. It's like the hay penny. It's like a 50 cent piece. Yeah. All right, I go and order my sandwich. Okay. Would you like to roll an intelligence check on your scavenger hunt, or are you just going to eat your sandwich? <laughs> Because oh you figure it out. And you're one a bird, of, so you want that sandwich. Because you figure it out what the direction of one of your clues, but you don't know what to do. I'll just. I know I'll what just, it is. At I the think. counter, I'll just show the paper of the. Like awesome. while ordering the sandwich, just show the paper. Awesome. That's it. actually what you need to do. Yeah, I kind of figured it, but I wanted a sandwich. <laughs> okay. What can I get for you, dear? Oh, you must be new here. Welcome to the, f the Fire George Cafe. Hello, I'm... I'd like to have the special sandwich from today, and also I found this sheet of paper. Ah, dr the dragon breath. Hope it's not too spicy for you. She plops down a bagel sandwich in front of you. Do you Ooh. do you consume sandwich? I take the sandwich and show her the uh, the clues thingy again. Okay, you tear into the sandwich like a peregrine falcon tearing into a dead mouse. Which is what you tear with one of your talons. <laughs> yeah. You it's impressive that you don't need grip to swallow, but we're not going too far into an enemy in this game, so screw it. As you show her the list when you finish your sandwich, uh, oh, but if you could uh, quickly come behind the counter to help me restock the cafe's sandwiches and baked goods, feel from this, I will happily give you your prize. Okay. All right. Go. Do you want to oh, put some oomph into this, or do you just want to do this like, eh, they're done. Eh, they're done. All right. Well. I mean, one of one of the things the like motives of my character was as long as it's not too much work or something. God, you and Bliss might get along. I'll say anything to avoid having to do extra work. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Maybe you should have been an artificer. <laughs> All right, let's see. Random tribute character options chapter. There is character options. All right. Uh, you know what? She gives you a bottle. A metal bottle. Oh, you got that? <laughs> <laughs> I figured it'd be perfect for him. <laughs> or her. Is Eco male or female? Eco is male. Okay, it go. would be perfect for him. Oh, thank you. This should be much help for a starting student like you. It is a flip through various tabs to find it, a bottle of boundless coffee. Oh. Perfect. Uh huh. It, it is met, this bottle contains delicious warm coffee. I just imagine your eyes widening like you just found your prey. It, so, I just drool dropping out of the beak. So, Keo. I'll, I'll put this in later, but you got a bottle of boundless coffee. Each time you drink coffee, you have to roll a d20. Okay. I won't say anything more, but you basically have free coffee for life. Nice. Pretty much. It's always comfortably warm, and none of the heat can be felt through the bottle. 
Now I have to find a, a bottle of life supply of milk and then I can go with it and sugar. It seems you have solved the scavenger quest. Uh, Yusuf and Gulliver, as you approach the cafeteria area where Eco is, you smell lovely cooked meats of sandwiches and tea and coffee. Yusuf looks a bit nervous, but his stomach grumbles slightly. Uh, maybe when we're done. Hey, Yusuf! Try these sandwiches, they're amazing! Oh, uh, are they? Yes. Uh, Especially if you're into spicy stuff. So. I'm not very g good with spicy. Well, then here's the menu. Check it out. Mm. Just realized I had to move the map. <laughs> that appears to have been two of the clues that they've given. D did you get the thing? Yeah, I, I got this bottle of coffee. Huh. I, I found this. He holds a blue Ooh. cuddly doll. It's very cute. That's a cute little doll. Uh, very charming indeed. I think number five m might be on the stage. Could yeah, very sounds... well refer a like to it. a star, as in an actor. They called it. But we still gotta do one in th three. And what? Huh, is there some pl place you can rest in here? Looks at the sleeping students in the lounge. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Look, man, as a college student, you take wherever you can find. Indeed. Unfortunately, sometimes it's in classrooms. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, what time does my class start? 6 a.m. in the morning? Okay, what's the next class? 4 p.m.? That's a two-hour layover. I'm going to sleep. Bam! Yosef is looking nervously at the end of the first clue, and then up to Ki and then up to Eco, and then down, and then up. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't like what he's got in head. I mind do about think that. we have to go back to the light thing sparkling ball. You might be right. It's bright, and you said it was called a snarl. So I mean, <laughs> if you want, roll an intelligence check to figure out some of these clues. Sure, let's. Roll them bones. Alright, roll them dice. Fail! Oh. Roll 20, why are you being mean today? Alright, so. Uh, Eko and Yosef, pick which clue you would like to learn about. You get one. Three. Alright, three for Yosef. Or no, not, not three. Uh, yeah, three's already two, been done. Two, rather. Sorry. Two. Alright, apparently, it's talking about a potential art gallery. I didn't see anything like that. It must be in one of the rooms. You think? On the map, I see exactly where to go. As for Eco, which clue would you like to know about? Number one. Yeah, it's got to deal with the snarl. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we we already kind of know the others. Like, yeah. One is the we stage. Have ideas. One is the snarl, and the second one we know because of Yosef. Let's do the snarl last, because that's probably where we have to end the hunt, right? Yeah, probably. Probably a safe bet. 
All right, so you guys uh, are going to the art area? The yeah, we're together. going to look for it. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, very true. We do know where the uh, theater yeah. guy was. Quintilius. Yeah, Quintilius. Quintilius! <laughs> Amphibian Melantor the third. Hot your service. <laughs> No, oh, I am right. posh play actor that likes to recite plays Over, in we'll language. Walk up to Quintilius. Hello again. So sorry to bother you. All right. All right. So again, you see the impressively lap stage with the curtains drawn back to reveal performers in opening night of major production. Or otherwise, it's any line or tune. All right. Ironically, as soon as you say sorry to bother you, um, bright front lights snap on around, around the stage's perimeter. Number three lights turn on. Do you approach? Do you approach the lights? Yes. All right. So you mm -hmm. approach the lights. Eco inside the recess. You find a hood. There is a recess inside. It's a hood lantern filled with oil. It seems to be the thing you're looking for. I guess I'll take it then. All right. Now I have a hooded, a hooded lantern filled with oil. That was real easy. All right, how does this work? Oh, they just say something. Okay. <laughs> I, if a character recites, sings, hums, belches, or otherwise emits any line or tune while standing on the stage, <laughs> the lights turn on. That's literally what I have. <laughs> <laughs> I love I that it was Yosef who did it. <laughs> I love how it's burp. <laughs> it's like ah yes, the best comedy. Uh, m Mr. Qu Qu Quintilian, uh, d do you know if there's like some art gallery or or something? Ah, yes, it's to the left of here, West. Oh. My left or your left? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I hate this! <laughs> I said West! <laughs> West! <laughs> My West or your West? Directionally <laughs> challenged every a cries in frustration. I'm sorry, I heard left. I did. I did say I don't left. Know why. We are now westward bound. Let us uh, off. Let us way. away. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Whoa. A as you start to travel west, all of a sudden the joyous and energetic atmosphere of the first floor is shattered by panic shouting. Ah! Ah! That drunk! That truck has teeth! Please, anyone, stop it! Chaos erupts in the library as students stream in all directions. Their books and papers flying as they shout in fear. The only faculty mages in sight are trying to deal with panicked students. You can't let some monster ruin this first day of classes. Time to step up! Uh, oh no, this could be b b bad. Uh, Ico turns uh, his head in direction and then proceeds to move towards the art gallery. Uh, Roll Wait, initiative. I... Oh, God. Oh. There's my battle music. I really should stop closing the sheet. Which there was a better minimize. Uh, initiative? Yes. Yep. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. <laughs> it's a good moment to take a break. Yeah. Break. Good. Let's take a break. I'll be right back. Alright, feeling this music. I can't find an initiative. Oh, initiative. Oh, yeah. On your sheet? Mm -hmm. It'll be right in between uh, your armor class and your speed.
feito. Oh, there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dang, you have a plus two to initiative. That. Wow. That feels bad. I, I feel that on a very personal level. <laughs> I'll be right back to you. Next week's game is nothing but combat. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, I'm back. I didn't have a uh, chat pulled up, otherwise I would have been kind of conversing. Ooh. Wow, this thing rolled really good. This thing's really good? Yeah, it rolled a really good initiative. It got a natural 19. I <laughs> know modifiers. Plus one. So that's oh. a soft 20. Oh. Yeah. Feeling this music. Thanks, it's called Cartoon Battle. Cartoon Battle? <laughs> yes. I can kind of see it. Oops. Forgot I had that tab open. How are you guys liking this so far? I, I'm enjoying this so far. How about you guys? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I, I like how Kyo's character is the antisocial too cool for school kid and the goddess they worship is the goddess of revelry and feast halls <laughs> uh hey what's your deity uh i like and she's she gave me like hey is there one for uh, laziness trickery and jokes i'm like uh there's I'm like how about charest the goddess of uh revelry <laughs> Perfect! Me! So far! Man, you are definitely not a reveling type, aren't you? Hi, Kyo. Hi, you. How are you liking this so far? Uh, it's, it's fun. It's much different from that one-off I did, huh? Yes. But we should continue that at some point. I do want to see Storm again. I will- I'll try work on it. Yes, or I'll just use Storm for a different campaign, I guess. Feel free? Yeah, there's nothing saying you can't use it. You could have used them for this. Because I'd like <laughs> to see Snaz again too. He was fun. <laughs> yes, we should. We should just use I our characters did enjoy for different. Weaver. I. We should I just throw them into different adventure. Again. I will try to work on. I think three campaigns would be a bit too much for me to handle. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless Mason is willing to do a campaign. <laughs> Looks at him with shoujo sparkle eyes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that ended also, perfectly. <laughs> I also thought about, thought about like inventing a new race at some point, a hamster race that is just. I'll make a hamster that just loves chocolate and milk so much, and hamsters that for eternity. Well, I you mean, you can do that. Good. It's it's called homebrew. But it's a little bit more than just that. Okay. Oh, I I'm, not, uh, I'm not saying that you can't do it, it's just that it's a little bit more than just that. Yes. Now I was just thinking that because I just grabbed some chocolate and milk. <laughs> I had chocolate pretzels earlier. With some Kringle. Alright, let's get back to it. Yes. As you guys hear panic screams coming out, you see a 
trunk with teeth, literal teeth, and it rolled really freaking high. Well, uh, we're far, far away. We can just ignore it and go get what we wanted to get. That would be pretty rude. Everyone is panicking and running. It moves up to here at its dashing speed and ends its turn. Because <laughs> it can't do anything. Oh, I missed the next miss miss the location. Oh well, it's fine. All right, uh, it is Gulliver's turn. All right. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Gulliver is gonna use his. Let's see, where's this thing? This. 30 feet of movement to move. Hold up, I gotta measure it down. There. Okay. Boom. And then Gulliver is gonna use the spell Thaumaturgy. Okay, what would you like to do? I'm gonna project my voice three times louder than normal. All right. And say, there's a threat near the Hall of... I'm Oracles? Sorry. Oracles. Please, in an orderly fashion, evacuate <laughs> the location. The threat will be disposed of in due time. <laughs> Again, this is not a warning. There's a threat near the Hall of Oracles. I love Please, it. in an orderly fashion, evacuate the area. I love it. All right. In your best... PSA voice, you tell people to evacuate orderly as possible. Let, let's roll for a um, panic, shall we? Roll for panic, what, just a d20? Um, roll persuasion check. Persuasion check, okay. Alright, that's the same. Uh, okay. What does a straight roll? I can fill you with that. Okay. Uh, well, wait, what? The I didn't yet. You did. Oh, that was Eco. Eco, you didn't need a roll. Okay. Gulliver! You can go with her roll. You, th you think you got the point across that some people aren't as panicking. They are quickly filing out. They rolled a nine. So you won. Alright, that's your yeah, turn. Yeah, I only won because of my bonuses. That is your turn. Yosef, it's your turn. You see a chocolate teeth trying its best to get to you. That's not a good thing, is just, it? Just uh, ignore Quintilius, he is not there. Oh, Quintilius is not there. Yes. So, Yosef sort of scurries forward. Pretty sure that was 30 feet, let me double check. Oh, one too far, I think. And... He's going... To hex the evil, tr the trunk that's trying that has teeth. Ooh. Alrighty. And he'll provide disadvantage to its strength checks. All right. And that is a what save? No save. Oh. Rather, sorry. <laughs> so it just happens. Yep. You just get hexed, and I'm concentrating on it. No damage yet, though. All right, you cast your hex, and it goes. Eco, <laughs> it's your turn. I just entered that room over here. All right, <laughs> roll a deck save for me. Okay. Did did they hear my announcement? <laughs> <laughs> a deck save. Yes, please. Ooh. All right, you open the door and narrowly avoid a massive amount of students running out in full-blown panic. You did not get trampled on. 
the one or two that he must be running. Sure. You are now in a room. It's a nice art gallery. Nice. I'll just move to the art ga thingy over there. Alright, without a care in the world, as potential impending death happens to the two people you met today, you browse the art. Okay. Alright, so in the art gallery, you see portraits of several older alumni wearing Bismari college robes. Would you like to examine uh, a portrait? Yes. Alright. You clearly see a plague that reads, At Strixhaven, we were all inspired. Below the plague, plaque is a small lever. I'll, I'll use the lever. Alright, you use your action to pull the lever. And it's the correct lever as a box pops out of the wall. A what? A, a box popped out of the oh, wall. Oh, nice. I'll look into the box. Inside is a Strixhaven pendant. I'll, I'll there take are, that. There, there's actually three of them for each character in the party. I'll take and three. the box disappears back to the wall. And nice. that is your turn. It is Mimic's turn. Alright. It's Mimic slowly getting closer. And that's its turn. It's dashing. It has 15 feet of movement. Dashing is 30. Alright, Gulliver, it's your turn. This trunk with teeth is slowly approaching Yosef. Yosef. That's the wrong button. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to step between... Uh... Oh, hold on. Alright, I will upgrade... And Yosef stepping right in front of him. I will update the character token after this. Alright, step up to this trunk with teeth. What do you do? By the way, I didn't take an action, you know. Oh, you didn't? Hex oh. is a bonus action. Oh. I'm so oh, sorry. Man. Would you like to do your action now? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, let's just Eldritch Blast. Alright, you'll be able to hit it from where it was before. That hits. Alright, do Ooh. Hex damage is with it too? Yep, it's hexed, so... Alrighty. Right. Wow, that's that's a pretty good shot. Alright. So before Eco does all his stuff, uh, Yosef shoots out an Eldritch Blast from his hands and hits the Mimic. Now it's back to Culliver's turn. Okay. As the Mimic moves into position. I'm real sorry about that. No problem. I don't... I should have said something quicker. Yeah. Okay, well, again, I'm going to step between him and the Mimic. And, let's see, which one was the better option here? The Erdy one. I'm going to make a... Evisceration long... attack? Huh? Evisceration? Evisceration? <laughs> what happened? You said you were, I'm going to make a, and I finished it with evisceration attack. Oh. I'm going to make a longsword attack uh, against the Mimic. Alright. Smack it with your sword. Sharp edge first. That does not hit. A plus five, Jesus. Six. Alright, this Mimic apparently dodges your sword with surprisingly dexterous ease. Lovely. Uh... Oh no. Is that all I have? Yeah, no, that's everything else is basically an action. That's all right. Really good. <laughs> Yosef, it's your turn. Uh, um. He will move around. All right, you f and have flanking. And un we are playing by actual rules, so your flank has advantage. Let me double check something. Yep. So that means. And he'll use his 
bonus action to inflict Hexblade's curse. Alright, you have pointed and it is marked. And then he'll take his walking stick and smack it. You take a big stick and you smack it in the butt? Question mark? <laughs> smack the mimic. You smack the trunk in its flank. That really hits. <laughs> And it's gonna really hurt. Oh! Yeah, you just slam your walking stick into this mimic. It is looking worse than it did before. <laughs> Somehow. And do I need to make a deck save or anything? No. Oh, it's a nice mimic. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, he didn't know it when he did that. Yeah. So your stick is now attached to the mimic. I believe. Uh huh. There, there is no save. It's just stuck. Yeah. It's to get out is the DC. At least that's the way I'm reading it. Alright, Gulliver, you see uh, Yusuf hit this thing really hard with his walking stick, and now it's stuck. Eco, it's now your turn. Oh, uh, last look through the art gallery, Eiko decides to go back to the others. Now remember, you can only move th 30 feet, or your walking speed. I'm gonna come back to the party. Hey guys, I oh found it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, how, how do I see how far the, the feet are? Uh, on your character sheet, it should be movement by your AC. No, I meant on the map. Oh, uh, there's a little measuring tape. It's underneath the magnifying glass. It looks like a circle oh, with a ruler. And if you hold the left mouse button while you're moving, you could do uh, yes. shapes like this. So I think it was here. So Somewhere. it's bump. Remember, you gotta go through doors. Bump. Yeah, you cannot go through a wall. You can. <laughs> you don't have that spell. <laughs> Slow a cockra. I can go here, and then I can go ten more, I think. Well, you can also dash to double your movement speed, but that takes up your whole turn. And don't air cocker only have like 25 feet? Oh yeah, 25 speed, so five more. Or you could just fly. Well, I think it'd be really weird to fly through single-width doors. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're the DM, okay. so you can say it, it just sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Okay. Mimic's turn! Turns to you, Yusuf. <sighs> you are stuck to it, so you are technically grappled. So, yep. this thing got rid of it. <laughs> you made this thing get rid of its disadvantage. Congrats. He didn't know! Uh, it's a. It's gonna bite you. Does a 21 hit? Yep. Even with shield, that would hit. Alright, you take... 10 points of piercing damage. Well, I'm down. And 16 points... Er, 6 points and of I'm acid dead. damage. Alright, Yosef is down! He's unconscious. If I took 16 points of acid damage, I'm dead. No, it was just 6. Mm. I actually... Yeah, I'm sorry. So you took seven points, of ten points of piercing, and six points of acid. Mm. All right, Gulliver, your new buddy Yosef just fell down to this mimic. What do you do? 
really wish I wasn't distracted by that fucking text. I was going to... Hmm. I, I definitely had a reaction to that. Well, I'm sorry, but you probably no should worries, be paying attention. I understand, though. Yeah. Curse my low constitution. Wait, did I have anything on me? Yeah, I, I got Alright, I'm gonna oh, move and around Hex is the mimic. gone, by the way. Yeah. Yep. Concentration. Move around the mimic. Okay. And you do not provoke an attack of opportunity because you are still within its threat space. Yep. And I'm gonna use lay on hands on uh Yosef? my buddy here. Alright, that is how much? One, two, three, four, or five. Let's use the full pool there. That five. Alright, Yosef, you are brought back from the brink of death as this blue skin winged being who I've been to your companion all day. Stands over you. Uh, Welcome back. Your time's not there yet. Uh, oh. Alright, and it doesn't say if it's an action, bonus action, or is it just free? It's it's an action. It's an action? Yeah, okay. it says... As an action, you can oh, touch Oh, yeah, I missed that part. There we are. Yep. It's a little lower down than you would expect. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh man, you could cure diseases and poisons with lay on hands? I didn't know that. Yep. Man. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that I can do as a bonus action, so I think that's it. You guys should have had a palace against the oil off then. I mean, they're immune to poisons, I think, so. Yeah! <laughs> I think it's disease, but yeah. Alright, Gulliver, is that it? Unless I can kind of interpose myself between him and the mimic. Mm, I'm gonna have but to But that'd say. be more of an action thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, no, I don't think... Unless... <sighs> I mean, bonus action probably try and get the mimic's attention. I don't know. <laughs> I think that... Mm. Is it... I think it's fairly uh, tentative to the both of you at this point. <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything for a bonus action right now. So that's it. Alright, Yosef, you're on the ground, but you are alive. Uh, huh! He's gonna stand up. And right. as he does, do you as like, a bonus action. Do you let go of your staff? <laughs> yep. I had to, and I fell. Alright, your staff is gone. It's not so in you, my hand anymore. You are technically not grappled anymore. As he stands, his skin seems to harden, as more scales seem to cover him. As he... Beast hide shifts. Alright, you have six temp HP. And plus one AC for one minute. You also get more temp HP, right? Yeah, that's the six. Six is the temp HP. I was sworn you had something else, too. I mean, I get some HP if I kill the Hexblade's curse thing, which is still cursed, I think. Uh, oh no, my curse ended, so never mind that. Alright, uh... Okay, when you shift, you gain temp HP equal to your level plus your con mod. Mm-hmm. And when you're beast hide, you get an extra D6 to that. So, 
That is three plus three. Yeah, okay. That does work. Just making sure. All right. That was your bonus action. Anything else you would like to do? Hmm. I guess I'll take the dodge action this turn. All right. You are prepping to dodge roll. Eco, it is now your turn. I'll move 25 feet over here. That's all? Yeah. Actually, I'll also move over here. Alright. So it's still a murder, murder sandwich. sandwich. Okay. <laughs> is that all for you, Eco? Yes. Okay. Mimic turn. Seeing that its prey is back up on its feet, it's gonna try to bite you again. Dodge, so disadvantage. I already had disadvantage. Uh, does a nine hit you? Nope. All right, you nimbly dodge out of the way. Well, as nimbly as a scaled pangolin man can dodge. Ooh. Pangolin man. Pangolin Man. Pangolin Man. Yes. Uh, Sube's shiftling is bear or boar, but he's flavoring Beast. it as pangolin. Beast hide. Yeah. Also, he now has a tail. Yep. <laughs> and it, he is oh. armored. Wait. <laughs> uh, I think I caught your reference there soon. <laughs> if it's killing bites, okay. Gulliver, it is now your turn. This movement trying to take a bite out of Yosef again, but Yosef managed to dodge out of the way, and he's now scaly. Time to light a fire under you. And then a, uh... Kind of, hold up. Uh, a flame-like radiance extends from his hand as he cast, casts Sacred Flame on the mini. Alright, DC 13 deck save. That's nine. <laughs> Whoosh! <laughs> this thing is still alive, but it somehow. Beginning to weaken. Keep on it. <sighs> Yosef, it is now your turn. So, question. Shoot. Flanking only applies to melee attacks, doesn't it? Sadly, yes. Mm. Wait, well, actually, let me let me check that real fast. Uh... God, wrong page. Ugh, I typed in flanking in D&D &D Beyond and all I got was a bunch of stuff that I didn't need. It's kind of weird because it's in the DMG. Just say what you think right this second and I'll deal with it. You know, yeah, you'll have a... You have advantage on ranged attacks if you fire at uh, close range, but if you're far away, then no. So, straight roll, then, if you're Eldritch Blasting. Don't have a lot else to do. Yeah, that barely hits, actually. Ooh. It's dead. Nice. <laughs> As you light, unleash your last Eldritch Blast, you managed to brutally kill the Mimic. Uh, sorry. Okay. And with that... Gulliver will now cast Thaumaturgy again. Bing boom. <laughs> Threat has been eliminated in near the uh, Hall of. Sorry, oh. 
perfect. I knew they could do it. Again? Huh? What was the hall again? Hall of Oracles. <sighs> Brett has been eliminated near the Hall of Oracles. You may now resume your normal activities. I repeat, the threat has been eliminated near the Hall of Oracles. As you say this, a large owlin mage appears. Well done! You stumbles over to the bench. <laughs> well done! Well done indeed! Also, he's still shifted when Eco comes back. This... This owlin... Yeah, Eco, you come back and you see Joseph as a pangolin man. And you see hey. a fairly large owl and saying, Students, well done! Ruffling hey, her guys, feathers. Like, I Would I recognize it, him in a uh, kind of authoritative figure there? Her. And... Her. Give me an intelligence. An intelligence? Guys, yeah. Guys, I got the thingies from the third clue, I think it was, or the second. Alright. Oh. Eco, you come back. Uh, there's a dead... There's a trunk on the ground, oh, and Yosef please. is bleeding. You have no idea. <laughs> Something really strange happened. Gulliver, you have no idea who this okay. is. Just deadpan. Student, yes, students, yes. well done once again, says the owl in ruffling her feathers. Such bravery bravery in its incoming class. And what a bizarre occurrence. I can't remember any of the, those old costume trunks ever bearing a hint of magic, let alone that manner of transmutation. I'll be having a word with the equipment managers over at the Rose stage. They're supposed to keep this sort of thing from happening. Ow. Proper maintenance and bookkeeping is important. Let this be a teachable moment. Oh, I agree, young man. Seeing as how you are all new students, may I have your names? I suppose I'll start. I am Gulliver Sinclair. I'm Aiko Ik. Short Aiko. Yosef. I do I believe he's knows. still in a great amount of pain. He may need medical attention. Oh, yeah. I am so worse sorry. As his shifting ends. I provided what limited aid I could, but he may need more. All right. Uh, she gives you a potion of healing yourself, and you heal for eight points of health. Well, that gets me back to full. I am Professor Mavinda Sharpbeak. Silver Quill Professor of Radiance. Uh, sorry for all the trouble, Professor. Mm. Oh, not to worry. I would have come sooner if I was not enraptured by your fighting prowess. I will say that your bird friend here sadly was not around. Well, I got the thingies for the treasure hunt. Moose to retrieve his staff. Alright, you gotta pick your staff up. Well, you feel free to examine Mimic if anybody wants to. I'll examine it. Alright, I need a perception check then. As will I, because I'm getting my staff anyway. You said an uh, investigation check? Perception. Perception. Okay, I missed certain that. Sorry. He's... Oh. Hmm. Ooh. Yosef's a little preoccupied trying yep. to clean his staff off. Uh, Gulliver, he knows that the defeated trunk's wood and leather has been robbed of a black, oily substance. Um, do I have any empty bottles? Um... I don't appear to, no. Instructor. Yes? If you would, take a look. Alright, she takes a look. He says, gesturing to the uh, black. Hmm. It seems like it could just be some type of leather conditioner. Quite standard among leather trunks such as these. Oh, 
Well, I am very busy, busy. Uh, seeing as if the threat has been quelled. I would like to reward you. Uh, let's see. Gulliver and Yosef, you get one platinum piece. A platinum piece. Uh, as she hands wow. it out of her purse. This is quite the large denomination. Are you certain? Why, of course. Besides, new students always need some form of money to survive. Th thanks. You have my thanks. gratitude. And if you ever feel like joining the Silver Quill College, keep in mind of the Radiant section. As she uh, proceeds to fly out of the biblioplex. Quite the eloquent but flighty sort. Yosef, I do mm. believe this calls for a good meal. Would you join me? Don't we need to finish the hunt? Alright, so there is no character profile for this character, so I'm going to put them in the lore channel. Okay. This that is works. Professor Mavinda Silverquill. I think. Oh, sharp, sharp beak, you sorry. more eager than I thought. I would have thought after taking a thrashing like that, you would have been done for the day. I have underestimated you. For that, I apologize. Super did some damage. A little bit tough sometimes. But I've never. Oh, okay. go ahead. That much. There's only one left. Might as well finish it, right? Yes. True enough. I believe that was. Also, I got three of those thingies. Yes. See, Each of so, you so. add a Strixhaven pinnet to your items. Okay. Oh, I forgot we could drag and drop these from the compendium. Yep. Also, Jesus Wait, Christ, please. do not fight this owl. <laughs> uh, she's not they are a professor. Good. Yeah, she's not super heavy. She's not combat heavy spells. But, uh, everything else, on the other hand. <laughs> so wait, what did, did I have all in my inventory? That co coffee can? Yes, thing? you have a bottomless coffee cup and a Strixhaven pinnet. Bottle of bo boundless coffee. Yep. You said you could get it from the compendium? How do you open the compendium? It's the, the little eye? Yes, it's the little the... eye next oh, to your okay. newspaper. Oh, Type it in, and you could drag it to your uh, character sheet. Yeah, How heavy is that in. coffee? Yep. Just sure search for coffee, and you'll find it. Did I have to drag it to any particular spot, like uh, nope. item name? Just on just, your sheet. Oh. Just drop it on your sheet. Real oh, handy. handy. Mm-hmm. Okay, Weight Wait, does not matter? Wait. Okay. We're not playing Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Weight will not be a factor in this game. Okay, I so the, I have the coffee, I have the trinket thing. You have the Strixhaven pendant and the bottle of Basically, boundless coffee and a hooded Strixhaven. lantern with oil. Because you picked that up as well. Yes. The Strixhaven pendant glows, just so you know. Ooh. Yep. I have no idea how to write that. You can put it in your compendium. Go the eye the... thing. Mm -hmm. Should be a uh, third icon from the left. In the yeah. upper right, where you've got your character sheet and stuff. Mm -hmm. Then you can type the Right beside in. that, there's an I. Click that and use the search function to find what you need and then drag it into your character sheet and it'll drop right in your inventory. Okay. And when you said there was one more clue, that's one more besides the one where we... Uh, Go back to the snarl, right? Uh, no, I believe it's just the snarl. Just the snarl. Yep, oh, the snarl okay. is the final one. And before yeah, anybody yeah. wonder, um, if anybody is wondering why Eco did not get a platinum piece, it's because he was not in part of the combat, so he was. That yep. is why. That's I'm I, I'm sorry, Keo. Um, I mean, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
I believe that leaves the snarl then. Uh, Are you well enough to walk? I'm fine after that potion. Yes. As the ruckus has settled down, all the students are pretty much coming back. I'm a little tired, I guess. But otherwise... Level 1 spellcaster. Level 1 in general. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> don't, ask me how, get... don't ask me how Bliss survived to level 5. Because I avoided a combat mission with her before she was level 2. And yeah, sorry about that, Sim. I, I was getting a call at the time. I had a reaction to that. Oh well. It's okay. Next time, then. It, it's not like this is the first time your actions have called someone to die. Wait. <sighs> That's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Nip. At least he's somewhat better. Oh no. Now he's just drowning in guilt and losing all his hair. Oh boy, he's turning into a sphinx. <laughs> Anyways, so as you return to the Hall of Oracles, is Eco with you? This po uh, uh, just posted uh, head out the uh, door. Eco, are you coming? Yes. They will be along shortly. All right. They wanted to do this. Would have figured them to be the first in line. All right, I guess forward. I'll there, into the light. There <laughs> is a pool of energy below the star, and as Eco steps into it, you momentarily lose track of their body. As uh -oh. Eco, you are overwhelmed by the snarl's magical power. You are basically enveloped in bright white light, maybe uttering a bit of a scream. And ah! as soon as he he disappears, he gets jettisoned out, and he is holding a potion of healing. Oh, nice. Ooh. That was a ride. That would have been helpful during that fight. So now you know what the really? Snarl does. <laughs> See, we should have investigated it earlier. You now have all... You have completed the orientation at scavenger hunt. Do we... we here, or is there someone we should go see, or something? That's a good question. <laughs> is the person... Who do we report to with all this? It actually doesn't say. Doesn't I say. I think it may have given instructions in the announcement, but uh, it's... Our characters would have probably forgotten all the stuff that happened. All the hectic stuff, especially us two. <laughs> I didn't have acting, no, not at all. <laughs> yes, but you're a bit flighty. <laughs> but, uh... yeah. Sorry, that was too easy. <laughs> mm, yeah. I wish I was that flighty. Okay. Well, I s would like to say this. It does. It literally does not say. It just goes to the next one. All right, so I will say I feel like this is probably the best time to end the session because next is a bit of a time skip. I believe that's all. Let's get that meal that I promised you. As sure. the three potential friends, allies, Walk back to the Fire Jolt Cafe to get a rejuvenating Dragon Breath Pepper Bagel Sandwich, if Eco is also hungry. Yes. By the way, you're, if you take a sip of your coffee mug, it does taste pretty darn good. Okay. And usually for magic food, it is specified as delicious. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then when you see Gulliver bite into that... uh bit of food you'll see for the first time a genuine smile across his face. Gulliver apparently likes food or spicy things. Or both. Oh yeah. We might have back home. Yosef likes savory foods.
All right. It's good. Um, and with that is where we shall end the session. Woo. Congratulations. You didn't die first combat. <laughs> yeah, congratulations on your first day of orientation. It was a I... hooded lantern and what oil? Hooded lantern with oil. Oh boy, I am glad I had some sort of a feel here. Alright, yep. I that shall, could have ended poorly. I shall end the stream here because we have some upkeep to do after this for this. Um so thank you mm -hmm. all for coming. I hope you guys like Strixhaven. We'll be back probably the week after next, if possible. Because I would love to keep doing this. Uh, Let's see, that's the eleventh, mm -hmm. I think. Or the twelfth. Yeah, I should be available. I cannot. I Actually so. my buddy's having his uh Engagement party on the 12th. Oh. Mm. On the right. 26th, I'm afraid I will be gone. So we probably won't come back till March. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Sorry about that, chat. So we, put, we will return to Strixhaven in March. Uh, as much as I would love to do it next week, I do have my standard D&D &D game, which uh, is... I'm on vacation. That, We're right at a big thing. Yeah. But that's okay. This is just purely for fun. Um, I Like I said, I would love to keep doing it if you guys would like to as well. That'd be great. Yes. I have to say, Joseph has given me some real uh, alpha vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give up a wedgie. <laughs> Maybe because oh, it kind of reminds me of Undertale alpha. It kind of reminds me of myself a little, so I'm just like, man. <laughs> Gulliver's going to step in. That is not very kind. We need to find an undying for her here. A what? Someone undying. loud and abrasive. Uh. Yes. Huh. Well, till then, tomorrow chat, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We are playing Viking. I'm enjoying it, despite Ubisoft's recent NFT issues. Mm. And hopefully this week we'll also do some Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Because unlike Ubisoft, Eidos is actually pretty good. Until then, you can follow me at Twitter at Ebia Gaming. Good night, everybody.